Mr. Chairman and members, uh, my name is Jay Brim. I'm here on behalf of Texas Impact, which represents uh, a number of Christian denominations here in the state, uh, in the legislature. Uh, let me make it clear that I'm not speaking on behalf of any of those denominations, but rather presenting some views that I and other lawyers uh, who advise uh, bishops and ecclesiastical leaders of those denominations uh, have found in looking at this uh, bill. I want to thank uh, Representative Sanford for his very kind uh, taking time out of his, uh, media, his uh, day yesterday to talk with us about these concerns and say to you that after talking with him, uh, we feel we're very much in sympathy with his intention behind, broadly behind this bill to protect churches and individuals who represent churches from interference by outside persons in carrying out their religious beliefs and preaching exactly what they believe uh, the gospel requires them to, to preach. Um, I come to the microphone tonight, members very much aware of how often in the gospels Jesus had to reprove and teach lawyers, and I want to be careful as I talk to you tonight as the bishop's lawyer for the United Methodist Church in Southwest Texas that uh, I don't trip across any of uh, my Lord and Master's teachings there. Our concern tonight is not with uh, what the bill is attempting to do to keep outsiders from telling a church or a church body or an individual clergy person, uh, try to make that person do something they don't believe. We're most concerned about internal disputes within uh, denominations, and this is a problem for hierarchical denominations, uh, not so much for congregational churches. Our hope is that this bill can be improved to protect against it being used in an internal dispute among members of a denomination who disagree over what the teachings of Jesus are about the sacrament of marriage. We don't want an individual who disagrees with what the highest ecclesiastical leader of the denomination has said is the belief of that denomination, and thereby saying, you can't require me to follow this belief, even though that clergy person may have entered into covenant with the denomination to be a clergy person there. It's our hope that something can be added to the bill to protect against that. Uh, members, you may be aware that last year the Texas Supreme Court made a decision in a dispute in the Episcopal Church uh, over uh, one church deciding it did not agree with some of the beliefs of the national denomination and deciding to leave and take their property with them. The Texas Supreme Court made the decision that they would change many years of precedent and follow neutral principles of law in determining their um, their position on that case and decided it in favor of the individual church against the denomination getting away from from the many years of precedent that it would follow the highest ecclesiastical uh, rulings of the church we want that in this bill as well if you'll give us that protection we would support the bill as well thank you very much <laughs>